Big hearted and always trying to make a difference, Bella dedicating her life to helping others and after receiving a terminal cancer diagnosis earlier this year, she decided to spend her dying days trying to raise money to help youth in need. Tess Van Stratton has her inspiring story in this week's Vital People. This is our new band! Bella Smith's bubbly personality was infectious. Um, she is just one of those people that just was effervescent and loved freely and you just felt really relaxed with her. Big hearted and always trying to make a difference, Bella dedicated her life to helping others. Here in Victoria, we are raising money for Sanctuary Youth Centre, um, which is a centre that is a drop-in centre. We're open five days a week and we cater to um, youth that are uh, homeless or have addiction issues or just need extra support. Bella's own son battled addiction. And it's a very high risk lifestyle. So yeah, as a mom, it's, it's very difficult. But she used that agonizing experience to try and help other kids at Sanctuary Youth Center. Youth were fond of her and she was fond of them and they, she became a mother figure to them. And I think that's really what made her so special with the center um, where she worked uh, because kids knew right away that they could trust her and open up to her. Tragically, Bella's son Scott died last November. He was uh, found unresponsive outdoors. Uh, in the middle of the night, he had uh, misplaced his inhaler and had an asthma attack. He was a smart kid. He was a bit of an administrator, just like his mom. Um, the kids on the street actually, you know, whenever there was a crisis, they would say, where's Scott? Get Scott. Uh, Scott will know how to figure this out. So um, yeah, he was, was it was pretty devastating for her, for sure. Then, just a couple of months later, another devastating blow. I am recording this video because, well, the truth of the matter is that I am, I'm dying of cancer. She had had breast cancer uh, a couple years ago, but we thought that was all in remission. Unfortunately, it came back with a vengeance. With a terminal diagnosis and only weeks to live, Bella spent her dying days trying to raise money for Sanctuary Youth Center to help the young people she cared so much about. It's so Bella. I mean, in between cancer appointments, she's setting up a GoFundMe page. She's role modeled hope and endurance and resilience in spite of what uh, she's going through. My goal for this is $25,000. But sadly, just two months after this video was made, and far short of her goal, Bella died. It's always been about other people. Bella was always someone that uh, made sure that those that were the most vulnerable never fell through the cracks. Leaving a legacy of love. And if you'd like to donate to Bella's fundraiser, we've put a link on our website. You can head to the Vital People page on checknews.ca after this newscast. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.